Hey there, welcome to Tour of the Office Tuesday. It's Tuesday the 23rd of January 2018, year of our Lord. We're continuing this uh, Tour of the Office Tuesday trend of me going to my nursery for Robert's uh, book collection and, and finding the books that I think are really cute. Um, some of you are, this is not new uh, knowledge for you to, to know that these are good books, but it is to me because I don't peruse the children's book section. I've, I've graduated up to, to young adult fiction. So, <laughs> so this is a good book. Um, this is called The Day the, the Crayons Quit by Drew Daywalt. And it's really cute. It's, um, I'll read the I'll read what the premise is and then I'll sort of tell you what, what it's about. It says, Poor Duncan just wants to color. I feel you, man. But when he opens his box of crayons, he finds only letters, letters that his crayons have written to him, all saying the same thing. We quit. Beige is tired of playing second fiddle to brown. Blue needs a break from coloring all the water, while pink just wants to be used. Green has no complaints, but orange and yellow are no longer speaking to one another. They must be Presbyterian. What is Duncan to do? Debut author Drew DeWalt and New York Times bestseller Oliver Jeffers creates a colorful solution in this playful, imaginative story that will have children laughing and playing with their crayons in a whole new way. So what is this about besides crayons? Well, not a whole lot, but, uh, but the premise of this book is that these crayons are all tired of kind of being pigeonholed as, as what they're supposed to be. So you have, um, like, like uh, the book mentioned, blue is tired of coloring water. Purple here is tired of coloring dragons and wizard hats. And they just want something new. They don't want to be seen in the same way. And what I think is neat about this book is, it, um, is the way it ends. It says, well, poor Duncan just wanted to color. Again, I feel you. And of course, he wanted his crayons to be happy. I don't usually think about that, but, but maybe I should. And he gave, and that gave him an idea. And so he colors this picture here at the end. And if you notice and sort of follow the, the trajectory of the story, this, um, this picture is kind of what the crayons want. So, you know, I'm gray or blue or whatever. I'm tired of only coloring humpback whales. What if orange could color a humpback whale? And so a lot of these images are from, uh, are some of the things that the, that the crayons wanted to do. They wanted to kind of expand who they were, how they were seen. So I think this is a really neat story about looking beyond what somebody, um, you know, thinks that they can be and, and looking at what the, the possibilities of a, of a person or a crayon. But this is a really neat story. I really like it. There's another book, um, something else about crayons. I don't know. The Day the Crayons Came Home. So that's another book. I would assume it's a prequel or a sequel. I don't know, but it's good probably. I have it at home. I just haven't read it to Robert yet. But this is a cute book. Um, so you can read it. Uh, it'd be a good children's sermon book or it'd just be a good book for you to read uh, yourself to be reminded that even you, you purple crayon, you, you toe in the body of Christ, you can, you can do more than you think you can. So uh, I like this book. So I'll share another book with you next week on Tour of the Office Tuesday.